Welcome back to the channel everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you what's underneath my stem cap. This is very cool. I just made this today and I think it's really neat. And of course with your stem cap, you after you, the stem cap is designed to preload the bearings. So once you have your stem locked down, you don't really need the stem cap on anymore other than to keep dirt out. But there you go. That's it. It is a quick link set. Ta-da! So my quick links are stored inside my fork tube actually. And how do I store them in there is with this little gadget, gadget, this little thing here, 3D printed. It's a little 3D printed thing. Let me get you a good look at it. Now I didn't design this, I just searched Thingiverse for quick link storage or mountain bike quick link storage or something like that. I'll put a link to it for sure in the description. But yeah, I just downloaded the model and 3D printed it. I went ahead and printed it solid so it's not hollow like you would usually print because it's so small and so light anyway. So it's just solid plastic and uh, fits right in there like that. I suppose you could probably make one uh, yourself with, I don't know, maybe maybe a slightly different construction method using wood, I would imagine, but it's a very simple thing. Um, just fits right in there. Doesn't rattle or anything. And the smart part about it is how the links actually fit. Let me zoom in so you can take a closer look. There you go. One link fits on one side like that. The other fits the opposite way like that. And here's the smart part. They, when the, whoever designed this designed it such that right through the middle, the bolt fits just like that. And it closes down perfectly. It doesn't rattle once it's done or anything like that. It's just, it's awesome. It's an awesome little piece. Um, really like that type of stuff. And the other thing I just wanted to mention is for me to do this, I actually had to lower my star nut a little bit. You do need, you may need to lower your star nut a little bit depending on um, where it's set at. No, it's very easy. I simply took a socket and a hammer and just tapped it down a few millimeters and now it totally fits perfectly. Just like that. So now I have a quick link an extra quick link, no matter where I'm riding, no matter where I go. Now before this, I was storing it on my brake and shifter cables just with some electrical tape, but I don't really like using electrical tape because it does have a tendency to get gummy. So I'm really happy to have this solution. No rattle, no noise, always there, just perfect. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.